So let's try and summarize the chapter data handling, what exactly we have learned in this chapter. The first thing what we had learned in this chapter is what is data? Data is an information which we are trying to extract with the help of numbers. The next thing is how to record the data. We have seen that with the help of tally marks we can actually record the data faster and that could be help that would help us to analyze the data easier and faster. So here we learned about how to use tally marks. The next thing is how to organize the data. In the organization of the data, we learn how to draw the pictographs. Pictographs are a form of representing the data in through with the help of objects or pictures. So it gives us at one glance what exactly are we talking about. So that means if you are talking about objects like students, we can draw students, we can draw the objects like watches, if you are talking about number of watches and so on. The next way of representing the data is through bar graphs. In the bar graphs, we have learned the first thing is how to draw the bar graphs. The next one is how to interpret the bar graphs. So in both of these, how to draw the bar graphs, how to interpret the bar graphs, we were trying to represent the data with the help of bar graphs and then trying to analyze what exactly is this data meaning. So this is what we have learned. Yeah, along with this, when we are trying to draw the bar graph, we have learned one more important concept was of scale. What exactly is a scale? How do we assume a scale when we want to draw a bar graph? So what exactly was bar graph? Bar graph was a uniform width bars which we were drawing, which were equally spaced. And the length of the bars were actually trying to represent the number or the data which we are trying to analyze. So this was all about what we had learned in the chapter data handling.